gotcha, Gold. Give it your crawl. Hey, uh, it's like super wriggly. Its entire body is like its weapon. Dang it! Butterfly is called? Hmm. I've never seen one like this. This calls for. Hey, Dazzle! What? Do you know what kind of butterfly this is? <sighs> I'm not your personal encyclopedia. Ah, don't be like that. Professor Dazzle, please? Do I look like a professor? What's got you so butterfly crazy all of a sudden? Don't you know? Collectors pay primo cash for these suckers. They stick them up on their walls with pins or something. With pins? Well,. We may never know what you are, little dude, but I ought to bag you just in case. Wait! I just realized. It's a shame on you, Rose. Looks like a butterfly, but it's just a moth. Aw, moth. No one's gonna pay for that. Dawn, too bad. Shame on you, Rose? Oh! Shush. <laughs> Got it. Moth. Is. Ah, so even you can get excited by this sort of thing. I'm a girl, and I happen to think that red flowers are badass. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hmm, an orchid, do you think? Correct. This particular variant is called an Edna. Uh, the same name as you! It's not just the name. Edna have low tolerance for heat and flourish best in breezy, shady areas. Those who raise them must take care not to give them too much water. Doesn't the daintiness and loveliness remind you of me? Hmm. So in other words... What are you doing, Mebo? Well, that's odd. It doesn't look all thorny and poisonous. I'll show you thorny. Ow! Cripes, Edna, you broke the skin! Little Mebo needs to learn some manners. I should have figured you'd be an expert on the Edna flower. It was something he told me once. My brother. Oh, I... I see. I'm sorry. I should have been more sensitive. No, it's fine. We can't 
can't afford to hold back. Let's do this. You ready? You sure work. That went pretty well. Her main attack involves extending her nails. The front should defend and attack when it can. Its arts are powerful as well. Who's next?
What does it groom? You want to know? They take care of horses and... That'll do, thanks! Let's keep it up! Hurry! Ready, go! Ready, go! When it's go time, we go all the way. On Earth? Crazy how big rocks can get. No, it's not that. Okay, sheesh. Crazy how big boulders get. That better? Duh. I think Saray's more hung up on how the crazy big rock got into these ruins. Yeah, it clearly dwarfs the entranceway, and that doesn't even address the issue of why it was even placed here. <laughs> Maybe even hundreds of years ago. 
There were still folks like you who got a kick out of weird objects. Well, who says they hold it in here? Maybe the ruins were built around the rock and not vice versa. Hmm. That's it! This has to be a shrine to the rock itself! It's possible this rock was even a vessel. You can't fathom the true meaning of legends until you've seen their history with your own eyes. Oh, hey, like what you and Maven were talking about. Yeah, but now I understand. It's not enough just to use your eyes. Thanks, Rose. Thanks for... When conventional thinking is hitting a wall, sometimes it takes people whose brains are wild and untamed. People like you. Uh, pretty sure my brain's standard issue? <laughs> she has no idea. I'm really being scared at. Well, I mean, it is an odd fight! Crimson Flame! May you burn your soul! You act on instinct way too much. Oh? Did your instincts tell you that? Here it comes. What is it, Edna? It's my turn now, right? Uh... Well, that was unexpected. Oh no! That must be the Minotauros. That's right! And with him standing guard there, we're all in a real bind. The Shepherd Kawan? Lady Lila! You're as lovely as ever. And you're as creepy as ever. This seraph was also once a shepherd? That's right. Depending on how you die, you can transcend your own race. Strange world we live in. Strange world, sure. But we'll never get to the altar with that thing in the way. <gasps> huh? You're here for the shepherd's power, right? You're gonna take the trial, right? Right? Well, uh... So she's not the shepherd, then? Are you sure this creeper used to be a shepherd? Grating though he may be, the shepherd Pawan is renowned amongst all the Seraphim for having quelled over 10,000 Hellions. <laughs> Seriously? You mean this dirtbag? Hey, mister. Edna's so lonely. She could use a big hug. Well, aren't you a precious little thing? Your name is Edna? Oh, please, mister. Edna's so cold. Oh, but, but there's a trial, you see. We need to get to the altar and... <sighs> Useless. Huh? Is that all you can think about? The trial? I mean, the shepherd is here for the trial and... So you can't get to your altar with that oversized steak face in the way, and so you want me to do something about it. Is that it? Well, uh, more precisely... Wait! Edna! 
It's too dangerous! Scram. Get out of my face! Now we just walk to the altar? Actually, uh, the trial is to quell the Minotauros. Huh? But it ran off somewhere! Turns out it was a scaredy bull. I imagine it'll turn tail at the first sign of us now. Right. Well, why didn't you say so? You stupid or something? I'm sorry. Well, fine. Whatever. You just go on ahead to the altar. We'll track down that bull hellion and quell it. Okay. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Edna, you're actually disappointed, aren't you? Let's get this show on the road. Looks like it means business. Be on your guard, everyone! Crimson Flag! May it burn your soul! Break through! Crimson Flag! May it burn your soul! Did we truly save him? I pray that we did. <sighs> Sorry for scaring you. Goodbye. Rest in peace. Edna. Wait, did the spirits of the children turn to Seraphim? Dunno. Let's move on to the altar. Pawan is waiting for us. Yeah. Roger. Ignorance is... Unforgivable. I finally understand. Oh, Edna. Even if it's a pain, I'll never take the easy way out again. Though it totally is a pain. <laughs> That's the Edna I know. Don't underestimate me! Ew, this one attacks all slop. These slimes are stronger than the ones in the ruins. I'll do you a favor.
guess something like this is right. Fooled by their looks, the powerful spellcasters. Trust me, I know the small ones are the most trouble. Underground. Stay calm and handle it. Do not.
just hallucinating a wooden horse in the middle of the shrine. Don't mind me. It's awful tiny. You think it's for kids, maybe? Toy horses are only rarely made for adults, so yes. But what's a toy doing here inside the Shrine of Trials? How would I know? Seems unlikely it's related to the trial. It just bugs me. Maybe it's some kind of hint. Um, toy horse, horses, horse and buggy... Carrots, horse meat, horse burgers, horse waffles, horse cream cones... Crap. Now I'm hungry and yucked out. The dread overthinking a non sequitur trap of the ancients. Tremble before their mastery of psychological torture. Okay! Here goes! Ready, go! Minotauros was born from the spirits of children. Hard to wrap my head around it. What could those kids have been doing in a place like this? Ever since the Age of Chaos began, more and more Hellions have been pitiable types like that one. You don't say. They must have been children whose parents didn't want them. You mean they were abandoned children? That's probably what this place is for, to most people in the area. A gruesome tradition indeed. The parents could disavow their own flesh and blood like that. It's unconscionable. Even though we weren't his own flesh and blood, Gramps still took us in and raised us as his own. Yeah, it's hard to even think about. Hey, come on. Fuck up. That's right. You saved them in the end, didn't you? You did something good in the world. Yeah. It's gotten into you, Edna. You're being nice. It's not like I can't admit when I'm wrong, you know. Unlike some people, I'm an adult. Is that a fact? Looks like everything went well. Yeah, though I felt sad for the Hellion. I'll be honest, when Edna walked up to scare it off, I wasn't sure what would happen. Looks like she learned her lesson. Yes, bad Edna. Quite a motley crew you and your friends are. So, does this mean that we've cleared the trial? Yes, it does. Shepard, Edna, step forth to give a prayer unto the altar. Saray, none of his perviness rubbed off on you, did it? Huh? Can that even happen? Can it? Sorry, sorry. How's it feel? I do feel stronger. Are you off then? Yeah. Thanks for everything, Pawan. There is a cause and a reason behind all things. Grasp it, ponder it, and then proceed. Do not force the answers. Know that the journey of the Shepherd begins by understanding the basis for the emotions that swirl around this world. I will. Thank you. Finally!
giving legit advice. Ta-da! Moron. But still, thanks. <laughs> See you later. Right! So the last spiritual power is wind, right? <coughs> yeah, cute. It's not cute. Your stupid wind stirs up my allergies.